in the bunker for his third shot on the par 5 hole number 18. And he gets that one a little too strong. And he ends up on the fringe, but that's still puttable from where he's at. Elmer Saban for his birdie try on the 18th hole. Saban started the day five shots off the pace. Oh, a little too strong. Great line, but just too strong as it rattles out. Here's Moonsik Choi that might just benefit after watching that putt of Saban, getting a good read of the line and of the pace of the green. Just pulling it a bit to the right. So Choi will finish this off. He gets that par to go. Here's Elmer Saban for his par putt on the 18th. And he gets that one to drop to round out his third and last day here at the ICDSI Orchard Golf Championship. Here's Jay Byron getting his ball cleaned up. And he's chipping this off the green. Nice long chip and run. Beautiful read there on the speed of this green. Just a few inches to go for his par. Mar Spukai going for his birdie on the par 3 hole number 14. Ooh, awkward contact there with the putter and just did not get the strength and read that he wanted. Here's Jay Byron taking his time reading this one for a short par putt. And that patience pays off as he gets the par to go. Rounding out the flight is Rufino Byron for his par putt on hole number 14. Here's Arnold Villasencio for his uh, birdie attempt, chipping it from the fringe. But just missing the hole there, but he's got a healthy distance left for his par putt. Here's Omar Dunka in his birdie try on the last hole. And just short, just short by less than an inch. Right at the mouth of the cup. Sometimes golfers want to wait and see if some wind will blow that in, but we'll have to contend with that for his par. Be the essential now, trying to save his par, and he gets that to go. Rounding out the flight is Roberto Bernice Jr. Going for a par putt here, not getting any benefit of either of his flight mates with the same path to get a good look at the line, but nonetheless, he gets that one to go. Here's Mars Pukai now on the last hole of the day for his birdie. And Pukai taps this putt home for par to finish out with a 70 on the third and last day. Here's Rufino Bayron for his birdie attempt. Still in striking distance within the third day as he was in the top 10. Just missing that one. And he'll be tapping this one in for his par and finishing off with a 73 on the third day. Here's Jay Byron for his birdie attempt, trying to break 70 today, and uh, 
try and hold on to the lead as he waits for Benji Magada and Tony Lascuña also on top of the leaderboard. And that is pulled a little bit to the left. That's going to hurt. So that gives some breathing room for Magada and Lascuña. So Bayron finishes off the third day with a 70. And he's still quite happy with that. Now here's Benji Magada. Trying to finish off strong here in hole number 18. As he's still contending for the title. Blasts out of that bunker. And quite a long ways to go to save par. But he did finish with a 69 and 68 on the first two days. Here's Tony Lascuña, who had a very strong opening at 66 on his first day and a 71 yesterday. Here's a long attempt for Eagle. Could take the lead if this one drops. Just misses that one. Here's Cassius Casas for his birdie putt. And that one also refuses to fall. He'll end the day with a 75. Benji Magada trying to finish this off with a birdie for the win. But that one falls short and to the right. So he's going to tap that in for a par and finish the day with a 73. And here's Tony Lascuña, who needed this birdie putt. So he ties the leaders at the end of the three-day tournament at 210. And he's going to force a playoff here with Benji Magada and Jay Byron. We take a look now at the leaderboard after three awesome days of golf here at the ICTSI Orchard Golf Championship. You can see Magada, Lascuña, and Byron at the top of the pack, tied at 210. And they're going into a playoff, tied for fourth is Mars Pukai and Roberto Bernis Jr. Don't go away. We'll be right back for the playoff of the Ice DSI Orchard Golf Championship. Welcome back to the ICTSI Orchard Golf Championship. You're watching the playoff between the three top finishers. And here's the first playoff hole at the number 18 with Benji Magada's second shot. And he gets a lucky bounce and finds himself on the green to the delight of the crowd. Tony Lascuña here for his second shot in the middle of the fairway. Long second shot there with his fairway wood, and he finds himself on the green. He's got that for Eagle. Here's Jay Byron, not in a comfortable position. Coming off the rough here, but he's also got a tree to contend with, and that comes into play as it seemed to hit the branch of the tree. Losing control of that shot and it finds himself back in the rough past the hole. Here's Benji Magada for his third shot. He needs to stick this one to put some pressure on Tony Lascuña, who is the only one on the green. Chip and run there, reading the break. Good comfortable spot there to go for his birdie putt. Here's a long eagle attempt. And if he hits this one, this is for the championship. Oh. 
Looked like he read that double break well, but he still got to contend with a couple of feet to stick that par. Put some pressure on Bayron and Magada. Here's Bayron trying to save himself here from the rough. Just could not get it. Way off there to try and save himself for par. And considering that Nascunia is just a few inches away from a birdie, even if Byron hits his par putt, this will put him out of contention in this playoff round. So Byron will tap that in for a bogey and will tie himself at second place, but out of contention for the championship. Now here's the much needed birdie putt by Benji Magada to stay alive in the playoff. And he gets that pressure packed putt to go. Now the pressure is on Tony Nascunha to tie him at birdie. And Nascunha calmly sinks that one and we're off to another playoff hole. As Jay Byron gives his congratulations to the two gentlemen. We're going to slug it out. We skip now to the second shot of the second playoff hole of Benji Magada and he's not in a good place. Ooh, chips that way off from the rough and to more rough. You're still in Ascuña, who's also not in great shape as he's on the rough, just off the car path. But this one finds itself in the green, although with a long putt to go. I got his third shot here, with a lot of rough to contend with. He's gonna want to have to control this and stick it to put some pressure in a beautiful shot almost sinking that one to the delight of the crowd that's just some beautiful golf here's a long eagle attempt for Las Cunha if he sinks this he's going to bring home the crown it just falls short about an inch away from the reed on that right to left break. Comes up with a smile. And he taps that birdie to go. There's Magada for his birdie try after that beautiful chip shot. And he sinks that and we're going to go for another playoff hole and we're going to play this hole number 18 once again. Here's now the second shot on the third playoff hole at this hole number 18. Oh, and Lascuña had some trouble there with the tree. And he's going to have to make do and try to save himself with that one. Here's Magada with his fairway wood for his second shot. Can play a little bit safe here, but he still goes for the green. And look at that roll right in the middle. Now Lascuña needs to stick this one and one putt try to keep himself in the game. But that finds himself way off 